Today, I want to show you how I created a free SEO link building tool using AI and chat GPT to quickly automate adding internal links into your content. It's going to save you a lot of time. It automates a lot of the process. It's completely free to access. And I'm going to show you exactly how I created it, the custom instructions I use for it, how it works, the use cases, all the benefits, and exactly how to get access to it too. Plus, you get access to the custom instructions in case you want to customize this and create your own tool based off the back of it. And this is absolutely insane. It automates internal links in 30 seconds with one click. I time it and show you later in this video. Plus, I'll show you how I create this. So let's get straight into it. All right. So today I'm going to create an internal link building machine so that I can basically take my content and add internal links to it automatically using ChatGPT. Now we're going to be creating a custom GPT and the first place we're going to start is with creating a new tool. So if we go to explore over here, then we'll go to create a GPT. And from here, I'm going to configure this internal link building GPT. So I'm going to say internal link building tool and we'll describe it as a free AI SEO internal link building tool to automate internal links quickly. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to go somewhere. We're going to give it a go and see where the road takes us. And hopefully we get this to work by the end of the video. So. From here, what I'm going to say is go automatically add internal links to the user's content. Do not edit or delete any of their content. We just want to add some internal links to it. And to get started, the user must paste in their content and upload a list of internal links we can select to add within the content. Now, the good thing about this is that you don't need to train a team to add internal links for you, which can be a bit of a nightmare, I'll be honest with you. And also, you don't need to think in terms of where do I need to add the internal link? What's the anchor text, et cetera. I don't need to manually edit my content, which is something I personally dread when it comes to these one click AI SEO tools, because you have to copy and paste it into your website. And then you spend about five or 10 minutes figuring out, okay, what anchor text and where can I add relevant internal links and which pages do I need to link to and how it's all fit together, blah, blah, blah. No need to worry about any of that. Hopefully this tool fixes the problem and I'll show you how it works in a second. So we're going to say, make sure the anchor text it's relevant to the internal link. And this might not work first time around, but that's totally fine. Now in the conversation starters, I'm going to say paste your content and a list of internal links to add. So that if you or your team log into this, you know exactly what to do. And that's pretty much it. We'll go from there and that'll create a rough draft for us. We'll hit save on there. And so when it comes to the SOP and how to use this tool, it's basically going to work in, in three extremely simple steps. So number one is you download your sitemap for your internal links to add. How do you do that? You just go to your website, go to sitemap. Grab the list of websites you want to add a link to, the URLs, etc. And we can just download that as a CSV. Easy, right? Once you've done that, upload it like so. And then you're going to grab your article. So for example, we can take a recent article that I've taken from Agility Writer like so. We'll grab that content right there and we'll paste it into ChatGPT. And so basically this works in three simple steps. Step number one is to download your sitemap for internal links to add as a CSV inside ChatGPT. Step number two, paste your content into the tool and upload the CSV from step one. Makes sense. All right. Then you're going to hit enter. And then like you can see, I have uploaded the CSV right here and said list of URLs attached. Then I've pasted in the content below that. And you can see that it's taken a piece of content that didn't have any internal links previously. And it's basically started adding them naturally within the content. But there are some issues that we need to fix along the way. And that's why I like to test them in these videos. So for example, if we click on that, you can see that it's actually linking to the chat GPT editor. We don't want that. So I'm going to edit the custom instructions. And I think it's good for you to see this so that you can understand how to create your own SEO tools and also how to program and interact with chat GPT so that you get the result you want. Because a lot of people actually struggle with prompting and programming chat GPT in terms of making sure it does what you need to. And that's why you need to go back and forth and wrestle with it a little bit. So I'm going to say now, make sure that the internal links actually link to my website. I'm just going to go back and forth with chat GPT, test a few things and then see how it goes. And so now we have rebuilt the internal links machine. And the way that I've improved it, I basically said, make sure the anchor text is relevant to the internal link. Make sure that the internal links actually link to my website. Don't hallucinate the internal links. And you have to figure out the relevant anchor text based on the URLs I attached. And then what you'll see inside the content that's just produced now, is relevant internal links that actually work, surprise, surprise, inside the content with relevant anchor text. And it's using Code Interpreter to add those links. So one of the biggest advantages of using this process is that number one, if you paste content into ChatGPT and ask it to add internal links, then quite often the content is going to get cut off or rewritten. It's not going to be the same as before. 
With this, you don't need to give it any instructions. On top of that, when you're using ChatGPT for this process, quite often what ChatGPT will do is actually give you links that don't work, right? And I know personally, because when I'm creating this tool, I've seen it hallucinate links so many times. So what I actually did was based on the errors that it came up with, I asked ChatGPT to give me a list of copy and paste custom instructions that I can use to program it so that it doesn't make up links and it doesn't hallucinate, et cetera, in the future. And that's what you'll see with the instructions right here. It's quite interesting actually to learn how to improve and get better outputs out of ChatGPT, but basically review for accuracy, add three to four internal links, no fake URLs, no hallucination, these are all suggestions from ChatGPT itself when I was going back and forth with it. And then I've plugged that into the custom instructions inside this tool for this internal link building machine to get better outputs. So for example, if we click on this, the link actually works. I say this is going to mess up now. No, it actually works, which is great. This one too. Let's have a look, see if it works. Yep. Um, let's check the final internal link. So it's added four within the content, which is optimal. We've still got more content which we can continue to generate right here. And basically by doing this, we're getting better outputs from ChatGPT and we're creating a one click internal link building machine that's very powerful for creating content. and means that we don't need to mess around. We don't need to think about where we're at. And, and I'm going to share this with you in a second. So it's a really powerful way to automate internal links. And uh, what I'm going to do now is see how long it actually takes to generate internal links when I'm copying and pasting one click articles into my website. So let's say I'm using a tool like Autoblogging or Agility Writer, for example, or Page Optimizer Pro, whatever tool you use in even ChatGPT. Well, if I want to quickly get internal links inserted inside that content so I can just hit publish, then how long is it going to take? So what we're going to do is hit the stopwatch right now and see how long it takes. So here we go. Grab the article from Agility Writer, paste that in, up the CSV with the internal links, hit enter and see how long this takes to generate. And that is done. So that took 29 seconds. We generated all the content with one click. We can see the internal links pointing to the right pages and it's not hallucinated or anything like that. None of the content is getting deleted. It's still formatted nicely as well. And it's adding the internal links correctly with relevant anchor text naturally within the content. This is exactly what we needed and that's exactly what we want. And then if we want to generate the rest of the article and keep going and maybe add more internal links, then we can click continue generating. If we want to put this into WordPress and we can just copy and paste it straight in, no messing around because the formatting has stayed the same, but the internal links are just added. And that's a really easy and powerful way to add internal links within our content. And I'm going to share this with you today inside my free course. Now, I know that some people don't have access to ChatGPT Plus, so I will share this tool and I'll share a link to it so you can see it right there. And then what I'm also going to do is take the custom instructions from the tool so that if you want to use this yourself, maybe you can create a ChatGPT assistant, etc. Maybe you just want to plug it into your own sort of bots. You know, you could probably have a go at creating a free bot on po.com and then actually creating your own tool using that process instead if you don't want to pay for ChatGPT Plus, right? And you've got the custom instructions right there that you could plug into po.com in the prompt when you create a new tool on there. And then even if you don't want to use ChatGPT Plus or you don't have access, et cetera, maybe you don't want to pay the $20 per month, then you could have a go at creating your own internal link building tool inside po.com. But I think most people watching this channel who actually are going to use this tool would have access to ChatGPT Plus, and that's why I'm giving it away for free. And then to create your own, you could create your own handle, use a prompt, choose which AI you want to use, insert the prompt right here. And po.com, if you're not aware of it, it's just basically a free way to create your own SEO tools as well. With AI, it's got access to loads of different AIs right here, as you can see. And you can create your own internal link building machine using this process too. And on top of that, you can actually add a knowledge source, right? So you could upload the sitemap with all your URLs as a CSV inside that section right here. And Po, depending on where you're based in the world, you can actually monetize your tools. So that's a free alternative if you don't have access to ChatGPT. I get some questions like that sometimes. And if you want access to both the tool and the prompts, I'm going to insert it in the free AI SEO tool section. It's going to be called the internal links tool. Link to the ChatGPT is right there. Custom instructions is underneath. If you want to see po.com, I'll include a link to that as well. So you can create your own. And the SOP is in there as well. So you might say, well, why would you use this for internal links instead of adding them manually itself? I would say, first of all, this is automated. So you can generate internal links automatically based on your list of relevant URLs. You don't have to select which URL you're going to use. 
You don't have to think about the anchor text. You don't have to type anything up. You don't have to rewrite your content. It's all automated for you. So this optimized, but also saves you time. Additionally, you get relevant suggestions. You can share it with your team. You don't need to train them. Um, then you can paste straight into WordPress, right? So for example, right, let's say you got this article right here. You need some internal links for it. What are you going to do is just grab the text like so, pop it in there, bang in your list of URLs. As you can see, it's attached from the sitemap. That's going to analyze the content. It's rewritten it. And then it's added a internal link right there into our content, right? And then it's super easy. You just grab the content like so, pop it into your article right there, and you're good to go on that, right? And then, you know, you can do that with 500 words or a thousand words, etc. And it'll add relevant internal links based on the URL and the, the content that you give it. And it just saves you a bunch of time. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to this free course, we have over 110 lessons on how to use ChatGPT for SEO, including all my SEO templates workflows, tutorials, etc. You can get it all inside this course right here. Links in the comments. And if you want to book in a call about how to get more leads, traffic and sales to your website using link building and SEO, feel free to book in a call and you'll get an SEO domination plan. We'll answer any questions that you have and you'll discover the best link building strategy for your website based on what's worked for us and hundreds of our clients. So feel free to book it in. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye bye.